It is Melissa Denny. How are you doing, Melissa? I'm good. I uh, This is going to be an interesting stock watch today, considering that we uh, are going to lose a bunch of people this week, and we have no idea who those people are going to be. So it's pretty, it's going to be wild. Yes, a lot to break down here. <laughs> also with me today is Brent. How are you doing, Brent? Long time no see, Taryn. Yeah. <laughs> I actually made it to a uh, live feed update. If you joined, if you started listening to the live feed update, uh, it doesn't look like I'm part of it because I'm not for the first like five or 10 minutes. And then eventually I wore my way into it and uh, we had a good time earlier this morning. Yeah. If you started listening and you were like, oh, just Taryn uh, and you turned it off. Shame on you. You missed out. You got a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are here live Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, as we always are, to argue about what's happening on the Big Brother Canada 6 live feeds. We have the chat room open on robiswebsite.com, and you can send questions in to me on Twitter, at ArmstrongTaren, if you so desire. And uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about this week on the feeds. We got Johnny winning HOH just before the triple, and uh, his initial target is going to be Derek. He's trying to get Derek out to maximize his odds of surviving the triple because Derek is the most likely person uh, to beat him in a triple eviction veto, uh, the most likely person to win the triple eviction HOH, and so he's trying to get Derek out of the house, and he's also doing a lot of other work to set himself up to survive the triple. It's looking like it's going pretty well, uh, and then uh, Derek ends up winning this veto, Melissa. Yeah, that was, uh, that was very sad because I was, uh, I mean... Derek is is fine. He's nice. Uh, he's really not as bad as people make him out to be. I mean, everyone's comparing him to Matt from uh, Big Brother 19, and it is not. He is no Matt. He actually does strategize, and he actually tries, and he actually cares about the game, and he actually wins things. So I don't think those comparisons are at all fair to him. Um, I think if he was on Big Brother 19, we'd all be praising him for how great he is, considering like the rest of the playing field. Um, but because he's in there with all these great, awesome players, he really just fades into the background and people make fun of him. But like, I just want to say that he really is no Matt. He is actually doing things. He's trying and he cares about the game. Um, but anyway, sorry to go off on that tangent. Uh, I was a little disappointed because that meant that Kayla was going to be the next target. And I really wasn't looking forward to that because I don't want, I want Will gone. I want Derek gone. I want all the more non-entity players gone so we can keep the good people till the end and they can duke it out. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to say that Derek is like Matt from Big Brother 19. Derek appreciates at least two kinds of breakfasts. Uh, so okay. that's that's something, <laughs> right? Like, you know, it's something. Uh, yeah, and, and it's uh, I think even more disappointing for Johnny's game, given how well he was able to set himself up with that, uh, with that uh, setup. Um, and Derek winning this veto really upset a lot of his plans. It forces him to nominate somebody from uh, two of the sides that he has convinced uh, he's on their side um, and increases his odds of leaving in the triple uh, pretty exponentially, uh, which is uh, unfortunate for him, Brent. Yeah, but a lot more exciting for us, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I think that if Derek had not won the veto, that Johnny is most assuredly the winner of this season. And I know there are a lot of people that want that that want to see that happen. Uh, see, it, want, want, God, that want to see that, whatever. They want to see it happen is what I'm trying to tell you. You're not comfortable unless you're yelling. I know, right? Um, but uh, this is a lot more of an interesting week for me because I do think that even though Kayla is the target, I think that she has it fully within herself, if not within Paris, to survive. And I also like it that Johnny has a little bit more of a fight on his hands because he has been, in my opinion, running circles around people, at least for the first part of the game, in terms of his ability and social relationships and just people including him and stuff without him even realizing it at times. Just his the natural way he is with people, they want to believe him. They want to include him. And uh, I think he's going to have a lot more, lot more of a tougher fight now because, uh, as you said, he... he Really, and as we said on the live feed, live feed update today, he really didn't have a good play once Derek won the veto. Um, he had to pick a side and hope that the other side resisted temptation. And I don't think, no matter who he nominates here, 
uh, that they were ever going to be able to resist some t- temptation. I think if you nominated one from the trio that uh, Derek and Matt or uh, Derek and uh, Allie and Liv were always going to try and take a shot at them and keep Kayla. And if he reversed it as he did and put Allie up on the block, then uh, the trio is had they had the control of the votes. That's the problem. In either way, he had control of the votes, and that's why he's in the predicament that he's in. Yeah, and uh, it's definitely interesting. I I am glad, uh, you know, forcing Johnny to face even... I mean, Johnny has faced a lot of, uh, of adversity over the course of the season now, um, and forcing him to face even more means uh, better feeds for us. Um, although him leaving in the triple, I think, uh, would be like you know that would have been either way that's just like oh it's seeing him leave but if he had survived the triple with the other setup i think that uh he was basically locked to win now if he survives the triple he's still got a a tough road ahead of him i think especially if dela stays in the game um so that will be interesting to watch this is not over yet and derek made sure of that with that veto win um so uh derek uh, removes himself from the block. He uses the veto, and Johnny replaces him with Ali, which was really the only true choice I think to make there. Um, despite what Ali was telling him, Ali was in fact somebody that was gunning for him in the triple eviction. Uh, whereas the people in the triple were probably going to keep him safe, uh, and that may or may not stay true. So uh, it's it's probably the best thing there. Ali and Liv were also con- contemplating keeping uh, Kayla in the game. So uh, whether or not he went with Ali and Liv or Paris, Maddie will uh, he would have had to face some kind of we want to keep Kayla in the game. Uh, so I'm not uh, I'm not down on his choice of replacement nominee, Melissa. Yeah, no, I think that it honestly was a, probably his best move in the, in his position, um, especially because he still thinks that Kayla will go home with this nominee and it won't really matter. So I I think that he made the best choice with what he had, but obviously it would have been better for his own sake if the veto was not used and everything could have stayed the same. Yes. So Allie goes up on the block and pretty immediately Paris is going to start waffling. She's going to start considering other options. And she's, yeah, she's thinking about, is it worth it for me to keep Kayla in this house and send Allie home? Now, the reason she's thinking this is because she's recognized that her game is falling apart in front of her eyes, that, uh, that she does, that she wants Johnny out But even if she gets Johnny out, she's kind of lost the trust of Will. She's maybe losing Maddie. She's uh, she's got Allie and Liv, who seem like they might be in a better spot, especially if they have uh, if they have Johnny. So she feels like she's probably going to be leaving in the triple, and she needs to do something, throw anything against the wall to change the status quo to potentially keep herself safe in the triple. Um, And and her plan is. Let's uh, let me talk to Maddie. Let me try and figure out a way that we can potentially keep Kayla and shake things up and hope that after the shakeup, we're in a better spot. And we maybe maybe we don't go home in the triple. And for Allie's part, she is uh, not really helping the situation with her conversations with Maddie, as we talked about this morning in the live feed update, uh, talking about I don't need you in this game, uh, making it clear that she will be coming after Paris, Maddie, and Will, which gives Maddie zero incentive to keep her in the game. So Paris and Maddie have now uh, had conversations and are heavily considering, if not already locked in, to save Kayla this week, which means like uh, multiple, multiple shakeups. Still, uh, this season's still going strong, Brent. Yeah. It is, but the problem for me is that Paris is fiddling while her big brother house is burning. What the hell is she doing? She needs to make a deal with Kayla and not pretend. You know what's happening? I figured it out. It honestly dawned on me as you were talking. Uh, uh, Paris is reenacting her behavior from earlier in the season where you know people would be long gone and dead and buried, i.e. Jesse, and then she would be like, well, I, look, I know Jesse's going home. I, I get that, okay? But... Like, what about this? So now it's like she's forgotten that, you know, you don't have to play that way, honey. So she's in this week with Kayla and she needs to get in there and make a deal with her. But instead, she decides that it's going to be good for her to pretend to waffle the entire time to Kayla, not give her her word. And then fast forward to tonight where Kayla's in a situation where even though it's not true, she thinks that Will and Maddie are more amenable to keeping her than Paris ever was. But this is only because of Paris' misplaying, Taryn. 
<sighs> yeah. And and I mean, Paris has always had trouble, uh, you know, maintaining the trust levels with Kayla. Um, she had she had that one moment where she convinced Kayla to put up Ryan uh, in in the moment. Um, but other than that, her relationship with Kayla has been pretty strained. And Kayla just continues to not trust Paris, uh, continues to try and throw her under, under the bus at any um, uh, given opportunity. Um, and uh, Paris was just saying a little bit before we started, or uh, Kayla was just saying a little bit before we started to Derek that, uh, as Brent mentioned, you know, I, even if Paris saves us, she, we should take her out, right? It's It'll be Johnny in Paris, right? Um, so, you know, we were debating whether or not this is a good move for Paris. Uh, it was kind of maybe, maybe not, uh, depending on how this shakes out in the triple and how it shakes out moving forward. Uh, but definitely depending on how she executes. And her execution has been awful. And this is starting to look like a really bad move on Paris's end if uh, if she can't even win a little bit of loyalty between uh uh, Kayla and Derek when it comes to choosing her over her own allies. She's trying to be too cute, Melissa. She's trying to be too cute with Kayla where instead, this is one of those instances where she just needs to lay it on the line, Paris I'm talking about, and say, you know what? I re remember what we said even before the veto. Because she was talking to this, she was talking to Kayla about this even before the veto happened. She was mm -hmm. like, you know what? If, if the worst case scenario happens, I'm going to find a way to keep you in the house this week. She needs to, like, Go in on that early. I, mm -hmm. I thought that was a ballsy move on her part that would pay dividends moving forward if she had to cash that check. But instead, she's still in the line at the bank waiting to cash it. Yeah, I feel like she should have stuck with that narrative of like, I want to keep you and I'm going to do what I what it takes to keep you to Kayla. Maybe not say that to everybody else. So that way, Kayla at least thinks, OK, Paris is the one who's like leading the charge to keep me, whereas Paris is trying to make it look like everyone's on board, but at the same time, Paris has to convince them, but at the same time, they already want it, but at the same time, like all these different various like elements that have to come into play when she should have taken charge and been like, I want to keep you. I like you. Like we, I feel like we could really go somewhere together. I want to work with you. I know I can't take it to the end with these three or whatever. She, like she wants to say to Kayla to get Kayla to be on her side. Um, and then, you know, pretend like she actually is convincing them. And I feel like now it's getting to the point where it's like Maddie and Will have already had conversations with Kayla saying that they would keep her. So, and now Paris is still going, Oh yeah, I, I still have to be the one to convince them, which clearly isn't true. And now Kayla's seeing through that. Whereas in the beginning she was like, okay, I have to get Paris because Paris will get them. And now all of a sudden she's like, wait a second, do I really need Paris? Like, what is she doing for me? And, and the fact that Paris won't solidify something with Kayla, like that would make me concerned if I was Kayla um, because Paris wants Kayla to promise that she's not going to put her up or whatever, or give her loyalty or whatever, but isn't willing to really commit to something in return. And I feel like that's where Kayla is going to be like, this girl does not have my back at all. I'm going to, I'm going to make a, a little bit of a weird comparison, I think. Uh, but Paris is reminding me a lot of Matt Hoffman from Big Brother 12. Like, uh, if Matt didn't win competitions, maybe this is how Matt would have played, where, like, he's effective in some areas. And I think Matt had a, a level of, like, evil genius, uh, like, uh, mad scientist that was a little bit more effective than Paris. But he would also have these strange ideas of, like, let me pretend to be nervous to, uh, to uh, Rachel and Brendan, uh, even though... That like because if I pretend to be nervous, then that will tell them that something or other, and it didn't really make any sense, and it ultimately just sketches them out. Uh, where where Will and Maddie are just much more upfront about like, okay, so we're thinking about keeping you, Kayla. Um, Paris is talking like, hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm considering it, but I need to get Will and Maddie on board and trying to take credit for all of this stuff and just like being way too extra mm -hmm. about it. Um, and uh, yeah. yeah, and it's just it's just not quite working out for her, uh, especially in this situation. No, it's true because it's like she wants to put on a show to show them that she is this is such a crazy decision for her and that it's going to take a lot of work. And it's like, just sit there and be honest and tell the truth. I mean, maybe not the truth, but pretend to be completely upfront and honest and just say, I want to keep you. We're thinking about it. I'm going to try and convince them rather than this. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust you. I heard some things about like what Derek was saying to Will. And so I don't know if I can really trust you. Like if they, I was listening today and they would have 
her and Kayla would have these like hour long conversations that just like went nowhere because it was just Paris saying, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust you. And Kayla saying like, yeah, for sure. I totally get it, but you should trust me. Like it, it just kept going and going and going. And it's like, this should have been a five second conversation where you say like, look, I want to trust you. I want to keep you, but there's been some things. So like clarify for me that you'd be willing to work with me. Boom. Done. <laughs> Right. Uh, I was going to say quickly that if there is one thing that can save Paris here, I think it's somebody who's playing really, really horribly, and that's Will. Because if Will tells Johnny what's happening, and you know he's not going to be able to keep his mouth shut. And I even saw in the feeds, like, jo Johnny was double double asking him earlier tonight, like, are you guys, you guys are thinking about keeping Kayla? Like, that would be stupid to keep both Dayla and both of the Dela's in the game. And he's like, no, no, no. But you know, Will's not going to be able to keep up that lie for very much longer. And if Johnny finds out, Johnny's going to put the guilt trip on Will. I think he could pull Will back. And at that point, Paris can look like the savior for Kayla, where she's like, you know what? You're losing Johnny, but girl, I'm in. Like, I'm in. Let's go. Like, it's, you got me, Maddie, Derek. That's all we need. Screw Will over there. Like, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm here to, I'm here to save you. Mm -hmm. At that point, it might look a little bit better for her, but she's going to need help. Yeah, I'm seeing right now Paris is talking to Derek, and this is right after Derek was having his conversation with Kayla about how Paris is pretending that she can get Will and Maddie on board, but secretly they are already on board and they know that. And Paris is saying, if I make sure that Kayla stays this week, do I have your word that I don't go up in the triple? And Derek answers, I'm pretty confident. Like, he's not even, like, trying to reassure her a whole lot. Like, uh, Paris should really be seeing what's, uh, what she's being sold here. Um, but uh, it's not happening. And you're I right about her being extra, too. That's another thing that's annoying the shit out of, of Kayla and Derek, is they are, like, she thinks that, she thinks that she's the boss. She thinks mm -hmm. that she's controlling this thing. We are going to show her that that's not true, because it puts her on a different level than them. She Paris is trying to make it out to, to Dela that she is the one controlling everything. The mastermind so to speak and even though that may not be her intent necessarily that's the way it's coming off to Dela. and they're like girl you've done nothing you won zip like who are you why are you in this game so i think they're just a little bit over with her extraness at the moment Yes. And uh, <laughs> apparently Paris was like, wait, where is this hesitation coming from? Why is it only pretty confident? <laughs> um, so uh, a little bit of bad play from Derek there as well. Uh, I don't know why you're not trying to reassure Paris more. Bad play all yeah, around. I feel like the problem is they're trying to, they're looking too far into the future as to like, will she be angry if I then put her up in the triple and then she doesn't go home? But it's like, you need to focus on keeping Kayla here this week because she might be out the door and that won't even matter. So I think that they really, I mean, I understand why they don't want to like promise anything to anyone, but if it comes down to saying something in order to get Kayla to stay, you've just got to say it. Apparently there's some more drama happening on the feeds as we speak. Apparently Johnny just burst in to the catacombs, caught Paris and Derek talking and uh, he's sort of, I think he's, uh, he's caught them. He's, 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 uh, he's figured it out at this but point. He was the one who earlier in the day was talking about the fact that, you know, he wanted there to be a little bit of a doubt and a little bit of campaigning between Allie and Kayla. He was thinking maybe it might backfire on me. And even though that's not the cause, it's definitely the result right here where this is, I mean, he, he his prophecy came true in that uh, they are thinking about keeping Kayla. Yes. Derek just clarified a little bit and was like, as soon as Ali goes to walk out the door, I'll tell you you're not going up, which I feel like is a good clarification. Like, I feel like that's it because she was like, well, isn't keeping Kayla enough to get you on my side? And he's like, as soon as Ali walks out the door, I'll tell you you're not going up, which I think is a good qualifying statement that would make Paris more comfortable, at least. It sounds good. <laughs> and, and I will say that when they were talking together, uh, Kayla and Derek, that they seem to want to target Johnny and Will more than Paris. I know they're not big pa Paris fans right now, but I do believe... And I even heard uh, um, Kayla say to Derek, uh, Taryn, that she would nominate Liv as the pawn in the triple eviction if she won HOH. Like, she would put up Johnny will and live she would not put mm -hmm. up you know paris or somebody like that or maddie so that is interesting to me well she i mean she was also just talking a couple hours ago saying that she would want paris out so it's, it's well they were yeah, also okay. saying yeah, yeah they were saying they would pip they would want paris to go but they're like that's never gonna happen yeah exactly that's what i got out of it like they, they weren't sure 
how yeah, to make that were, happen. I think they were more saying like, that would be awesome if we could just like get her out as well, Paris and Johnny, but they were saying it's not going to happen. Yeah. Paris so to put, some, put some, she needs to put some good work in here. She needs to, this is her chance. She needs to put, honestly, I think it would be, be better for her if the shit hit the fan. It, you mm -hmm. know, if, if, if Johnny found out and all the cards were on the table and they're, they're all screaming and yelling at each other, I feel like that's when she does some of her best work and she can come in and look like the savior. And, it, 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 because the way things look right now, it looks very bad, Taryn. Very bad. Man, Johnny is not happy right now. <laughs> he can get he can get pissy. Ever since I saw him during that double eviction the first yeah. time, when he let Olivia have it, when she wasn't even talking about putting him up, and he somehow got that idea, uh, he has a temper. Like I would just like like give him the backside of my hand and say, "Sit down." You know, like I don't want to hear it from you anymore. But. Yeah. Apparently he can get away with it in this house. It's funny. It actually reminds me of of Derek a little bit when uh, it, things didn't often go wrong for Derek. Oh, 16, but when, Derek? Yeah, when the, yeah. Yeah, Derek from Big Brother 16 yeah. did go wrong, he you could see like uh, under Steam. the surface there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think it's something that like uh, people that uh, that are some of the people that are good at this game, they have a bit of like a control freak element to them. Yes. Um, and so when things uh, they're not controlling everything, they're like, what? Um, interesting stuff. So I want to try and set up uh, what our predictions are for the triple eviction. I want to try and predict what we think uh, each person would do in the triple eviction. Obviously, there's a lot that could be changing even as we speak. So, uh, yeah, you know, this is crazy. It always <laughs> happens when we're in the middle of our our podcast. Or like right before we get on, there's like a big drama or big fight that happens. And we're like sitting here on the podcast at the same time, checking the feeds, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But uh, let's let's try and uh, try and predict. Obviously, again, things are probably going to change a lot. But um, let's see if we'll go one by one. Uh, assuming that Kayla stays, we have to assume that she's staying at this point. That's the most likely scenario. Um, if Kayla or Derek win, uh, who do you guys think that they would put up? Who are the three people they would put up in the triple eviction? Um, Brent, why don't we start with you? I think they would honestly put up Johnny, Will, and Olivia as a pawn. And I think that maybe they would even say Olivia as a pawn. I think that they would hold true. They, they seem like... Ellie, I'll say this, Derek, even more so than Kayla, seems like a man of his word. I know that's de it's, it's delicate for me to say in this house, but I do believe that if they save Kayla here, that he would he would you know pay it forward and be like, you know what? Okay, I won't put you up at least not right away. You know, maybe I, mean, I might have to put one of you up if the veto is used, but for now, I will definitely leave you off the block and I'll just put Olivia up as a pawn. I and I also think that Kayla, I don't think that Kayla could look Paris in the eye on a and I quote unquote live triple eviction and nominate her. I think she would just put Olivia up on the block, but I, that's that's my prediction. And I think in that instance that uh, obviously her targets would be Johnny and Will. Yeah, Unless, uh... I, I definitely agree with that. I think that I think likely to go up is Johnny, Will, and Liv. And Liv, not so that Liv will go home, but Liv as the pawn. But do, would they really expect that Paris and Maddie would vote Will out of the game over Liv? Are they that dumb? Uh, yeah, apparently. Because uh, I mean, they, well, they were. I mean, this is the same woman who was talking earlier that she thought that Will was the most amenable to keeping her. When that certainly isn't true from my perspective. Like, Will is the one that of uh, the three of them has been dragged the most kicking and screaming into possibly keeping Kayla. Although I know it doesn't look like that from her perspective. Yeah, I, 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 I have to, I have to think. No matter how much they talk about potentially putting Liv on the block, that in the moment they have to realize if they leave two of the trio off the block, then the other two in that trio will protect the third and they will lose uh, Liv and Johnny and uh, it will be those two against the three of Paris, Maddie, and Will. So and if they put, I don't mean to interrupt you, but if they put Johnny, but to interrupt you, <laughs> as they say on RuPaul's Drag Race, um, uh, so they, they would put up Johnny, Will, and let's say Maddie, and then it would be a vote to save. Olivia would save Maddie. Well, even that's dicey. I, I understand where they're coming from because they're like, well, Olivia hates Maddie and Maddie hates Olivia. So I don't know if, if they would. Let's just go with that. Let's, so Olivia would save Maddie and Paris would save Maddie and then Johnny and Will go home. So 
Yeah, well, I mean, I think Liv, in, actually, in that situation, would probably save Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, um, I know, but from, I'm talking about from Kayla's perspective. Right, right. So, um, so, but let's let's play this out. So let's assume that they or do that. Whatever. Liv saves Johnny, Kayla saves uh, Maddie, and Paris saves Maddie, right? So then yes. uh, uh, Maddie and, or sorry, Johnny and Will go home. That's That accomplishes what they want if they want Johnny and Will to Although go they're home. unsure about Paris. They, they think that Paris might actually save Will, but we I don't believe that that's true. De- definitely not now. It would certainly be, I don't know, like, uh, I guess the, does the, the HOH would then break the three-way tie yeah. and just send yep. two people yep. home by wow. themselves? Yep. So then what happens if Johnny wins veto? Then Paris goes up. Right. So that's the interesting scenario. I think if if Johnny wins the veto, that's definitely when Paris, I think, goes up and they take a shot at Paris if they haven't done that already. Um, because they do, uh, like you said, they do want Paris out at the moment, at least. Uh, who knows what this this sort of uh, confrontation. Uh, no, what, I think what Kayla, goes to, Kayla goes to Olivia and says, look, we're going to save Maddie. Like, we have to get Paris out of the game. You, like we, we kept you off the block. You need to do this for me. And I think Olivia would do it for them. So I think... All they need are uh, uh, Olivia's votes and Kayla's votes, and Paris could go home, man. Woo, God. Yeah, I feel like Olivia wouldn't care in that scenario. Yeah. She'd just be like, "Who? okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I have no relationship <laughs> with either of these people. So, Yeah, so uh, it, it'll be interesting. I think Kayla and Derek are the ones that are most volatile in terms of who they would target um, because, obviously, Johnny is, would be their number one target, and I think they want Paris out second most, but they don't know how to make that happen. I think they would settle for Will, um, and uh, and if they're dumb enough, they might accidentally send Liv home. I just I have a hard time believing that they would trust uh Paris and Maddie to evict Will, uh, it, or, or or Will and Paris to evict Maddie, or Maddie and Will right. to evict Paris. I just uh, it just seems so. Uh, Kayla seems smarter than that to me, um, despite uh, some slip ups here and there. That's just that's just like a one on one kind of stuff. Um, so I think if uh, if Kayla and Derek win, I think that we're looking at most likely. So so if Johnny takes himself off the block, then Paris goes up, and I think at that point it would be Paris. Maddie and Will, and yep. then uh, I think at that point, Liv and Johnny save Will, and Paris and Maddie both go home. Am I wrong there? No, I think, like I said, I think this is the point where Kayla gets to Olivia and says, "Look, we kept you off the block. Like, you need to vote to keep Maddie. We need to send Will home. Like, so it'd be a fight for Olivia's loyalties between Johnny and." Uh, Kayla, who just kept her safe in this scenario, so I, don't, I feel I feel like Liv sticks with Johnny in that situation. Um, Melissa, what do you think? I, I think sorry, she, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that she was on Twitter. That's why I jumped in. Uh, I I just think that that Olivia, as much as she's close to Johnny, I don't think that she's gonna like necessarily do his bidding in terms of keeping Will in the game. I think she would much rather have a weaker competitor like Maddie left in the game at that point, or even Paris. I mean, I think she sees Will as, as weaker than Maddie um, in terms of competitions, and she no, definitely I, is not a Maddie fan. Um, but I know. We'll, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Um, all right. So. I feel like, not to like talk about something we're not even talking about, but just relevant, the Johnny versus Derek thing right now, I feel like it's... I can see why Johnny is doing it because he's like, oh, shoot, I don't want Derek and Paris to be bonding. I don't want Kayla to stay. But at the same time, it's like this is also making it so that Paris will want to keep Derek and Kayla more because they're for sure going to now go after Johnny. There's no way they're going to work together now. So, like, if they need someone to go after Johnny, this is the perfect opportunity to keep people that will go after Johnny. But, like, I can see why Johnny would think this would he needs to break up this game talk. But, yeah, it's it's. This is crazy that this is happening right now, and that this could such, absolutely change things. That was such a good analogy you had, um, Taryn, about the uh, Derek 16 uh, metaphor. Yeah, because it, it it does, that really hits home with me, because that's how I felt occasionally when, just, just occasionally when he would start to lose control of the game and get really effing irritated and mad with people. Like, like he would blow his top dad temper kind of mad. And I, I feel like the, I'm getting the same thing from Johnny throughout this season. 
Yeah, and it, I mean, that's what would happen with Derek is uh, like we all remember the house meeting that Derek held where he sort of, uh, you know, resolved conflict, but he was mad before that happened. He was steaming and uh, it was looking like he was he might self-destruct. And then he managed to, to talk Zach into uh, digging his own grave um, and everything turned out all right. But that could have been a disaster. Um, and that's that's often what we've seen from Johnny as well. I think it takes longer for Johnny to recover cover from uh from from blowing his lid a bit um but we we've seen it happen for sure i i don't think this is going to change much uh i i don't think it uh, it ultimately does much to change who people will be targeting in the triple or who will be going home because paris was already on board to uh keep kayla but um it's not <laughs> certainly not the greatest look for uh for johnny here i'm looking at uh yeah, go, go to hell, Michael Caruso in the chat, or however you pronounce your name. Gotta lower Brent's volume. I want to hear this confrontation on the feeds. Go to hell. <laughs> I, I, I don't talk that loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just Brent's volume. The rest of us were fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, so as, as uh, I think uh, Brent and I are in disagreement about what Liv might do, but ultimately it looks like if Derek or Kayla win the HOH, with they, which they have a, uh, or what, a two in six shot, so a one in three shot at winning the veto, um, or sorry, winning the HOH, um, that one, uh, two of Johnny, Paris, Maddie, or Will, <laughs> nah, that's dumb. That's all of the people except for Dela. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely Johnny, unless he wins the veto. Uh, and then second likely, probably Will. Third likely, Paris. Fourth likely, Maddie. But any any one of them could theoretically go, depending on the scenario. Um, uh, I feel honestly like this is a situation where anybody could go home. I oh, mean, yeah. because it, it could totally be a crapshoot HOH. And I mean, I don't know if it will be because isn't it normally questions uh, anyway whatever I, I i feel like anybody could win maddie could win and she could just like decide to take out everybody you know like we have no idea what maddie's gonna do because she's never been hoh before i think it's really intriguing that uh, of all the people in the house i feel like maddie is probably the safest and yet not one of us owns one piece of stock of her <laughs> <laughs> that's very true yeah yeah that's, I, that's I, usually what happens yeah, I feel like also uh, Olivia is safe. But at the same time, if she ends up there on the block as a pawn and then just happens to be the one who leaves, that's, you know, it's totally possible. I, I think Olivia is the safest person, uh, followed by Maddie. Again, it, I mean, obviously, if Kayla and Derek are dumb enough to nominate Olivia, thinking that she'll be safe, then Olivia will go home. I just have a hard time believing that they'd do that. Um, I think that uh, in any other scenario, Liv is basically 100% safe. I don't see uh, the trio wasting an eviction on uh, Olivia when they have a pick between both Dela and Johnny. And even if somebody wins the veto, they can just take out the other two of those people. And then if Liv wins, obviously she's good there. If Johnny wins, uh, Johnny can't win. He can't. Uh, he's not playing in the HOH. If uh, if Dela wins, the only way she goes home is if they're dumb enough to believe that the trio uh, evicts Liv, which uh, or the, the, to believe that the trio won't evict Liv when in fact they will, which I don't think they are. So I think that Liv is probably the safest person, um, followed by Maddie. But we'll we'll keep talking it through. Um, so if Olivia wins the HOH, uh, Olivia will be targeting uh, Dela. I, I have to believe, right? Like uh, probably. Both of them, or are we thinking maybe one and one? I think Olivia is obviously up for grabs because she, uh, her current plans are null and void because she doesn't realize yet that Ali will not be there and that both Dela will be there. So, uh, Brent, what are you thinking in terms of what Olivia might do? I think definitely Derek. I don't feel like she nominates Kayla, especially if Ali goes home. I think she's going to need a sister, you know, and she doesn't like those other two girls. So, uh, what's she going to do? Like become like the foursome in that one? No. So I think she keeps Kayla off the block. I think she nominates, uh, Derek, Will, and Maddie. Yeah, I could see that happening. Um, possibly Paris. Well, well, how much influence do we, again, how much influence do we think Johnny has on Liv's nominations? Uh, I have to imagine that he would try to keep Will off the block. I feel like it depends on the timing of the nominations, but uh, I don't know if, I guess she would, I think she would listen to him because, uh, I mean, she listened to him when she was in the HOH in the double. Yeah. Uh, so it's, 
it's possible that if Johnny can get to her and be like, no, you're doing this, uh, she would do it. But on her on her own accord, I think that she would put Will up, put yeah, Derek have, up, probably have, put Harris, maybe Maddie. She would have no allies at that point, maybe in her eyes. I'm hoping that she realizes that she cannot just be a lackey to somebody else. She can't just do what somebody else tells her to do. She has to grab her own game by the horns and do something. I feel like that there were uh, maybe shadows of that emanating this week where she was talking about maybe getting rid of Allie, maybe voting against her down the line, maybe not taking her to the final two. So I'm hoping that if Allie does go home, and I have to believe that she's going to know before Thursday, it's not going to be a surprise to her. She may even vote against Allie ultimately if it's a, if it's a known thing that uh, they're going to keep Kayla, sort of like what happened with, with uh, Johnny last week where all six of them voted to keep him. Um, I I just, I don't know. I think that... Uh, <sighs> I, I, I think that most likely she would probably target what I said, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very unsure about what this triple triple is so interesting though. And I know I, I talked to you about this on the show earlier today, Taryn on the live feeds. It's unpredictable. And I enjoy that part because I like unpredictability in my reality TV, but it could be unpredictable to a point where it's sort of like a loaded gun in a crowded room and just, you know, yeah. two people die and you're like, well, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> And that's, and that's the thing too, where it's like li literally anyone could go and it just, it's completely almost random uh, who, is, who it's going to land on. But you know, there are going to be so many, results oriented people that are like oh well they deserved it they should have played better when again literally anyone could be leaving in this I'll be one of those people uh, <laughs> yes. uh, uh, somebody in the chat is is freaking out saying that Liv said she would put up Will as a pawn uh, yes we understand that however um, because Liv doesn't know the outcome of the Thursday night eviction things are going to change obviously her current plans involve putting Will up as a pawn but with both, day, uh, both Kayla and Derek remaining in the house and Allie not being in the house that uh that changes obviously uh, a lot that that uh yeah, I have to think that that her wanting to keep Allie and Johnny wanting everybody to keep Allie will bring Johnny and Olivia even that much more closer together not that they're not close already but it will further cement that relationship so she might really do what he tells her to do and he's definitely somebody that's willing to get in there and say this is what you need to do now it's up to her just to push back on that and say, you know what? I hear you, but it's my HOH and I'm going to go just a, a similar direction, but just a little bit differently. And I, I expect you to, like, if I go this direction, I expect you to support me on it. Like she has to be able to, you know, own her game in front of him and show him, you know what? I'm not just going to do what you tell me to do. I actually have some say so in my own game. This is, uh, th you know, I talked about Johnny's outburst might not have changed anything. However, uh, now I'm, I'm seeing there's a, there's actually a possibility. Um, Allie is talking to Maddie as we speak and apparently telling her that she is going to be gunning for Johnny in, during the triple. Uh, who knows if Maddie believes this, but it's I true. have to assume that Maddie and Paris, if they believe that uh, Allie will be going after Johnny, which is actually the truth. And we talked about how if they just knew that, then they would be able to not make this mistake of keeping Dela in the game, uh, but if if they believe her, I have to imagine that Maddie will start thinking. Well, wait a minute. Why are we keeping this massive threat in the game if we can just keep Allie in the game to do the same thing? Uh, it's the same outcome. Only we don't have to take as much of a risk, which is absolutely the truth. I have to imagine they're going to at least consider that a little bit, especially if Johnny seems like a big obvious target now that he's blown up and made people angry. So um, that that could change things. Uh, again, no, especially because Johnny he's confronting will right now about how <laughs> saying like why is this a huge decision kayla needs to go home you're really gonna oh, leave man. kayla inside the house such awful timing <laughs> i know this really is this is insane i feel well, like we, oh my god aside from the feeds right now i'll just say this and we can talk about the feeds because it's a feed show um but uh i have thought about it taryn and i even more am against the whole idea of keeping kayla if i'm because i'm a i'm a paris fan you cannot can, you cannot leave open the possibility that Kayla and Derek and Johnny all stay in the game past the triple eviction, oh. which I think is a possibility. Like if Derek wins HOH and Johnny wins the veto, mm -hmm. then two of your allies or one of your allies or whatever the hell goes home. I just, I mean, honey, you may even be out the door. Even if you stay, you still got to contend with these three comp beasts. And I don't think a single one of them wants her in the final two. Yeah. I think exactly. that 
no matter if it's if it's Liv, Maddie, or Will, Johnny would choose all three of them over Paris for a final two. Obviously, Dela would prefer each other in the final two, possibly. Um, and even if they didn't, they both have expressed they definitely don't want to be sitting next to Paris in the final two. They would definitely choose Maddie, Will, or uh, Liv to sit Ooh. next to in the final two. So, so well, maybe Allie can save herself yet, but she's gonna need some. She's gonna need a little push because earlier she was doing such a piss poor job. Yeah, I feel like it's it's gonna be a little tough. I think especially with Maddie, because I know she's like working Maddie right now and saying like, you know, that she's going to go after Johnny and not them for the triple. But like Maddie has to understand that she's been going against Maddie this whole time and been targeting Maddie this whole time that why would she change now? I mean, she's on the block. She wants to, she'll say whatever she has to say. And I feel like the rest of the game really tells the true story rather than what someone desperate is going to say. So I don't know. I feel like Maddie should believe that she i mean maddie should believe her because she's going to go after johnny but she shouldn't believe her because it doesn't make any sense right i agree with you i understand what you're saying like from a game perspective from from a, from a history perspective of yeah. this season it doesn't make sense that Allie would go after johnny it seems like she's in his back pocket she's always sort of been with him and yeah. she's always had a bit of animosity with maddie and her little trio over there and so lives, why would like, you believe with her? johnny now so right. like but this as, is actually the one time where she's telling you the <laughs> truth but the one thing that maddie should be able to hang her hat on is the fact that johnny nominated Allie. Like Johnny mm -hmm. had to name a replacement nominee and he chose Allie and Allie's really offended by that. Like she feels disposable. So if I'm Maddie and I'm sitting there watching this, I'm like, this chick is mad. Like I can keep her in the game and she'll go after Johnny. Like anything that was there before mm -hmm. I think is evaporated. So yeah, yeah. I, I feel so like I she's going to be able to figure it out. The one thing, the one thing that is still there is Liv. And I feel like Allie and Liv are so close and now Liv is close to Johnny that possibly Liv could convince Allie that they need to stick with Johnny. But I mean, who knows? Ah, uh, interesting stuff happening. I, I feel like I, I want to do this detailed breakdown of the triple, but I feel like literally as we're speaking, mm -hmm. my opinion on what Liv might do is changing. <laughs> so like, uh, it's, it's, uh, this house is too volatile. This, this, uh, this podcast is too early in the week, I guess. It's crazy. <laughs> Normally, Normally it's we not, can yeah. say like, for sure, this is what's going to happen. And we're usually well, like pretty I'll accurate. Just say, I was the person last week who was saying like, you know, I can find what I say. I, I can find three votes for Johnny, but I can't find four votes for Johnny. <laughs> well, you know, I was partially right. I can't find four votes for Johnny. We found all six, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we were all like, oh, Johnny's out the door. Yeah. There's no way. Arissa Cox tweeted, um, like, you know, feeds are hot right now. And she has a little gif with like the girl bopping up and down. So, yeah, <laughs> very, very fun stuff. Yeah, it, it will. In, in like last week, it looked like things were set in stone and Johnny managed to move the stone around. This week, it's uh, it's like, uh, you know, uh, a bunch of hay filled with gasoline. Like it's just like there's fires being lit everywhere. There's fireworks going off. Uh, it's a very, very volatile situation in the house and literally anything, anything can happen. Uh, so, and that's like... Uh, Again, I I wanted to go through the detailed triple stuff, but I really just feel like it's it's not even worth it. I feel like we should just try and uh, come up with a more general idea of who is the most in danger to the to who might be the safest, um, based on a general nebulous feeling of how many people are coming after them theoretically, um, and based on that, uh, I do still think that. Johnny is probably the most in danger for the triple. I think that he is not in as much danger as he was at the start of the week. His work hasn't been completely undone, although Derek winning that veto certainly has set off an entire chain reaction. Um, but I do think that he is still probably the most likely to go. He probably needs to win this veto. Brent, are you in agreement with that at least? <laughs> I'm laughing because um, Andrew in the chat said, apparently Veronica has been tweeting about the feeds and he said, how does Veronica see the feeds? I thought she didn't even have a TD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question again? I promise I'll pay attention to you. I apologize. Uh, if we're going to power, instead of okay. going through the detail, if we're going to power rank, who's yes. the most in danger? Do we yes. think that Johnny is the most in danger? I yes. agree. Johnny is the most in danger. Uh, I also believe that Derek is probably in the second most danger. Uh, I also think that 
probably Maddie and Liv are down at the bottom. Paris is maybe a little bit higher than originally I would have given her credit for. Like I thought Paris would be right next to Maddie in terms of being the safest, but it seems to me like she might be fourth or fifth on some people's lists, which is in a normal eviction would be fine. Like you would never be evicted, but in a triple, if you're sitting like, if you're the fifth or sixth most liked person and yet you're sitting next to like somebody else who's like seventh, you could actually be evicted. So I don't know. I'm really, I'm nervous about that, but I would probably have it. Johnny, Derek, Kayla, Will, uh, Paris, Liv, Maddie. That's how I do it. That, that's how I would yeah, do it. I would probably agree with that. I mean, I really think for sure Johnny and Derek are in the most danger, but at the same time, they're most likely to be able to save themselves. So they're either most likely to win and also most likely to win veto. So, you know, it's, it could go either way. Uh, but those guys are most in danger in terms of who is going to put who up with the hope that that person will go home. Yeah, I think that more more people are targeting Derek. I think almost everyone other than Kayla will target Derek for sure, um, as well as Johnny or somebody else. Um, however, Derek has two chances of saving him of being immune. Uh, he's got he's he can play in the HOH and the veto uh, to keep himself safe, which I think gives him better odds of surviving the triple than Johnny, who only has the one shot. Even though he has more people playing for him uh, that would protect him or keep him safe. Uh, I think that um, that Johnny has a less likely chance of uh, of staying because he only has the one um, the one chance to save himself. So I would right. say Johnny first, then Derek. Uh, I agree. Then probably Kayla. Um, it's then it's hard. This is when it like this is all like what's happening right now. I actually I feel like. Um, I probably agree. I think it's probably Will than Paris, but I think they could be swapped. I think Paris could easily get into more danger than Will, uh, depending on the circumstance. Um, then I think uh, Maddie, and then I think Liv is probably the safest, as I mentioned. Um, but uh, who knows? It's uh, it's all it's all crazy and up in the air. And they're talking about calling a house meeting, and it might happen. So yeah, I feel like that is such a bad idea. I mean, it, it's it, like uh, at this point, it, it's not going to hurt Johnny or Allie, right? Like they they need stuff like this to happen. So no, that um, would be good for Johnny and Allie, but bad for Dela, and also yes, probably bad for, bad for Paris and Maddie and Will because well, I mean, they, if it gets out that they they were the ones with like who started this campaign, it it could be good for Paris if she handles it correctly because it yeah. could show yes. Dela that she actually is the most on board with them. Yes. And because she's also considered very weak, I think that would tilt them tilt the scales for them to be more willing to keep Paris over people like Maddie and Will. If Johnny acts like an ass in this house meeting, which he didn't look good in that conversation earlier, mm -hmm. um, if he acts like an ass and tries to monopolize things and has an agenda and sure, you know, tries a lot of double time well you know didn't didn't you promise me this if he gets his if he gets his you know swishy yeah bitch you know i i, I you told me you were gonna do this kind of thing like i do sometimes you know what i'm talking about <laughs> uh i think that that would be a really bad look for him because then that would allows paris to be the bigger person and say you know what i'm making this decision for my game this is what i want to do i'm like i'm a i'm a free vote i can do what i want i think that keeping kayla is the best thing to do for my game this week you should be able to respect that i mean i don't know if she would say it exactly like that but she's has some backbone as we saw earlier in the week with kayla yeah i mean i agree i think it uh it would be a bad look for johnny but i don't really like i don't think it'll make a difference for his game i think that uh like johnny can throw anything against the wall at this point uh because i don't think it's going to change who's going to protect him in the triple and i don't think it changes his odds in the triple i don't think it i don't think it changes his odds of uh of winning a jury vote either so um i don't think it's like uh necessary that johnny uh like keep himself tame i think that uh uh you know th throw anything against the wall see what sticks yeah i'm reading the chat right now i was, yeah, laughing, I I was, like I was laughing at doom going derek freaking derek got the better of johnny like how incredible is that, that derek wilson of all people got the better of johnny we've, we've got some johnny haters in the chat uh, well i feel like we it's do. one of those things where like for example ryan ended up looking really great in those house meetings that were called previously because the other person or the person who called the house meeting was very aggressive and was like 
not really, there was really no point to calling the house meetings. And they just ended up looking really bad because they got emotional. And he was very even keel and very low key. And I feel like in this situation, if uh, Johnny is up in arms and emotional and whatever, and Derek uh, and hopefully Kayla uh, are very low key and even keel and just like, look, I said, this is what I said. Like I, all the conversations I had with people throughout the week, I, I'm going to stick by them like they know what was said or whatever and just keep it very low key and don't give up any information, then I think they could come out really well on the other end of this and Johnny could end up looking really bad. Um, but it, if, if everybody gets emotional, it's just, it's not going to go well for anybody. Well, see, yeah, Tara, I, 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 just really quickly, I want to say that I, I take your point that you said that none of this really matters to Johnny. Like he's going to be probably nominated in the triple. He's going to have to win the veto. I get that. But I do think that something like this, a house meeting can make some people look good and other people look bad. I think it could, could propel some of the better players and I think the better players are Paris and Kayla. It, it can propel them to the front and into a better game position than maybe they would have been without this house meeting or without that fight happening. So that's why I think this might be a mistake for him. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, yeah, but I think that uh, in terms of like how uh, Dela handles this, I actually think that if they remain calm, uh, that might actually be a bad look for them in terms of staying in the house because I think it makes them look more dangerous. I think that what people like Paris and Maddie want to see from Dela is them flying off the handle on Johnny and seeing them uh, clearly very upset with him. They don't want to, I don't think they want to see like this cool, calm, collected, comp beast pair duo uh, like owning Johnny in a confrontation and then like oh are, are, wait we're keeping them uh i feel like that would actually be a bad look in this certain in this circumstance which is why i think they should probably avoid this uh this house meeting if well, they can yeah i mean they should definitely avoid it but i feel like yeah you're right in that they should be confrontational with johnny but i mean i don't think they should be confrontational with with paris or oh, no. maddie or whatever and like if if allegations get brought up like you said this and you promised this to this and you promised this to this they shouldn't go into that into detail on any of that and say like, well, I said this to this and I you said this to this and I told Paris this, they should just sit there and say, look, we've had conversations throughout the week. I stand by with what I said in those individual conversations and I don't feel the need to go into detail. Uh, and, and then with, with Johnny, they can sit, they can get confrontational versus him and say like, look, I'm coming after you. You're my target, whatever, but they shouldn't get confrontational with the people that they need to keep them in the game for this yes. week. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy stuff. Andrew wants to know, is it possible that Johnny gets put on the block in the triple and he stays because people need him to take out Dela? Um, I feel like they're going to keep with this argument of like, I need this person yeah, to take out this person. And so they're literally the final like three people and they can't keep doing that. They need to just, well, it's getting down to the wire here. They're going to be final five after Thursday. They need to just get out the get out those targets themselves. They don't need other people to be their shields and take out those targets for them. Yeah, and they really it's going to be final five so there's no way they're going to leave johnny in the game if he's on the block after the veto he's going home yeah yes i agree um so uh man lots of interesting stuff can come about in this triple eviction uh i want uh you know i i, I wanted to give percentages but i feel like uh, we're not anywhere close to that um so really who knows and man it's only tuesday um, if there is some kind of big uh, house meeting confrontation, uh, the effects of it could be completely different by Thursday. Um, mm -hmm. We could see something solidified tonight based on a house meeting, based on confrontation, and then uh, we could see like a Johnny Dela alliance by Thursday. That's how this house works. So uh, who knows? Who knows what we're going to be looking at uh, come Thursday? But it's going to be interesting. We we know that um, it'll be interesting to watch. So uh, let's talk about. Um, because there's been a lot of talk about Johnny. Um, he's certainly uh, not the uh, the most clean player of all time, but uh, made an amazing play last week um, and continued that amazing play this week uh, up until Derek wins the veto at the very least. Um, I want to know from you guys, do you think that we are looking at a, like a top tier level player is johnny a great player should we be comparing should we be comparing him to at least like the vanessa style type of player when we talk about johnny's game melissa what do you think uh so far no i mean i think that he could get there but i think if he gets taken out in the triple right now i don't i mean he he did make a good move uh in that he was able to stay that week uh but 
his whole move this week was trying to set himself up in a good position for the triple. And if he gets, just gets taken out in the triple, then this move failed. So I feel like he he's a very good player. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's like upper echelon player until like, let's say he's final three and gets taken out. Let's say he's final four and gets taken out uh, then maybe. But I feel like at this point, it's so hard to say that he's comparable to those other players because he, he only really pulled off being able to stay for one week. I mean, sure, but uh, he's had a whole resume up until that point, and uh, I and I've thought about this myself. But like, I can say with with almost uh, full certainty that if there had been a triple eviction in Big Brother seventeen, Vanessa would have left in it uh, unless she won a veto. Um, I think that she was particularly vulnerable to that kind of thing in the same way that Johnny is. So uh, I wouldn't necessarily hold that Vanessa went a little bit further than Johnny against Johnny. Uh, but Brent, what do you think? I, I'll, I'll be a little fancy fencerton about it. I, 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 I hear what you're saying, Taryn, but I, I, I probably come down a little bit more closer to where Melissa is right now, but only, only because I need to see one more thing from Johnny. I need to yeah, see that's what I, feel. I need to see, like, I feel like the great, great players have two great, like, wowsy kind of moves in them. And I feel like he's had one, and I feel like he still needs another. Like, it's always like Rob says, to the victor goes the spoils. So he's going to have to, from in, at least for most of the fans' perspective, he's going to have to get toward the end of the game. You know, final four, final three. Maybe he gets cut there, and he's like, oh, what could have been, like, Netta. Uh, but if he, if he gets cut in the triple... It's just going to be like, wah, wah, you know, I mean, like, yeah. it, and, the, and the other thing, too, is he knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. They've been talking about it all season long. There have been people who were evicted previously in the triple and who, who didn't even have a clue that it was on the way. Kevin Martin last year had no freaking clue that they were bringing back the triple and then miraculously won a veto. So I feel like he's going to have to pull his life out of the fire. But I do give him credit for a lot of the work he's doing. And I'll say this. That um, there are two types of gameplay that I really hate, but they I cannot deny how effective they are. And one of them belongs to Johnny in that when things don't go your way to really like exert your will almost by your anger and force people to do what you want... I feel like that that is a viable option in the game of Big Brother, and he plays that card well. There's another type of game that I'll that I hate that I'll, and we'll, when I, we'll, when we get to that person, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like if Johnny was able to, first of all, pull off the move last week and stay, then also pull off the move this week where he sets himself up in this position where nobody wants to target him for the triple and he stays for the triple. I feel like that's that's where I would be like, oh my God, he's like a top tier player for sure. Uh, but I feel like he's all, he hasn't done that this week and that people are definitely targeting him for the triple. So, I mean, I know it was like an impossible move to pull off, but like I, that's where I would have been like, oh my God, this guy, like he pulled himself from nothing to now be able to survive the triple off of his own like strategy and social game. Well, I think that's exactly why I started thinking about this is because Johnny did pull that off. If not for the uh, unfortunate one in six shot at Derek winning that veto, uh, I think he had pulled it off, um, which is 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 where I'm coming from in terms of like it was an impossible situation and uh, and he managed to, to do it and then it was made even more difficult and that's when things are starting to crumble, um, which I, I agree. It's unfortunate we didn't get to see him pull through with that second great move, um, but it does it does for me put him on that sort of edge teetering back and forth and i think i agree with you guys um i think it's possible that he is that good but we may not see it because he may go in the triple and i don't think we can definitively say that he was that good if that happens whereas if derek hadn't won this veto i think that we probably would be able to say that um it's just uh, another kind of unfortunate uh you know he got unlucky um and uh and we're not we might not see ultimately yeah. what comes of it Honestly, mm -hmm. it's the truth because, you know, it takes a little bit of luck to win Big Brother. I mean, I remember, I think back to Derek and Cody during that, yep. uh, when was it uh, Donnie came, or Nicole came back into the game, sorry. And they had that HOH competition and it was between Cody and Donnie in the final two when they were doing that punch thing, you know, where they all in their secluded uh, stalls and Cody ended up winning HOH. Obviously, if Donnie wins HOH, he puts up Derek and probably Cody, maybe somebody else i don't know but he definitely puts Derek up on the block and i don't know what that game looks like from then on so you got to have a little bit of luck 
And I know that too. Just like in life, you got to have a little bit of luck, Taryn. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Johnny on the feeds is currently plotting with Ali and Liv. Uh, if there is a house meeting or if there's not, they're still going to try and do something along the lines of faking a fight and convincing Paris, Will, and Maddie that uh, that Ali and Liv are going to be coming for Johnny. Well, Harm. that'll be easy for Ali, considering she actually will. <laughs> right. Uh, I think this is the right way to go. Uh, as we speak, Kayla is proposing to Paris and Will that because Johnny wants Ali in the game so bad that means that they're working together so anything that they can do to uh to remove that uh you know perception will uh will be I love uh, it valuable. I love it that everything's out in the open and Johnny knows that they're all chattering and of course he should have expected this like to think that they there's only five votes this week it only takes three votes to carry the day Derek's obviously going to vote to keep Kayla so you only need two more votes I mean for him not to think that people would, would consider this is my time to to, to fill out my resume a little bit and make a big move here. Uh, and he doesn't even recognize, or maybe he does. I think he does recognize the threat that he himself is. And to not even for not, for it's not dawn on him. Like maybe people would want to keep Kayla in the game to go after me uh, to keep our little war going. I, I think that maybe that's a misplay on his part. Well, I think he was thinking. I mean, he, he's, he's been talking about it all week long. He just didn't think it had actually happened. Right. Um, and I think that's why he got so upset, actually, because I think you usually get upset when you suspect something, but you hope that it's not true, and then you yes. find out it's true. That's when yeah. you really get pissed. When you're blindsided by something, you're like, whoa, what? Um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, this this fight, this battle back and forth um, to see uh, who <laughs> ultimately leaves this week. I still still think uh, Kayla probably has this. It'll be difficult to convince um, to convince Paris that uh, that Ali is is warring with uh, Johnny, even though it is true. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting. I think you know there's two more days, so yeah. anything can happen. They're trying to convince them that Ali and Liv are against Johnny, and that's like I just don't see that happening. And even so, like I, I really don't feel like it matters. I feel like they've already done so much bonding with. Uh, Derek and Kayla this week. I feel like they don't have any of those bonds built with Allie and Olivia. And I just don't feel like it just doesn't make sense to me why they would go for this. I just don't think I, I mean, maybe it's just wishful thinking that they won't go for this, but I don't see them Allie and Olivia being able to pull off this fake fight thing and have it actually work. It'll be fun to watch though. So they're, they're keeping these feeds lively. Um, apparently, Johnny and Kayla are joking around with each other now about uh, about the, keeping her in the house. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get to the stock watch. Let's uh, let's get this down. Um, uh, we uh, we've got to update our stock here. Let's start with uh, with Ali. Uh, as we normally do here with the uh, the alphabetical order. We were all, uh, or at least Brent and I were down on Allie last week. Melissa, you were uh, you were up on her. You were saying she, her stock was rising. How do you feel well, about her now, Melissa? her stock is going down now because she might be headed out the door. So <laughs> I'm down on Allie and I'm also selling her stock. Okay. Yes, you, yes. She also, you also bought uh, her stock last week. No, I didn't. Um, Remember I stopped? Oh, right, right. You try. You, no, no. Yeah. You bought that earlier on. I, yeah, you tried yeah, to buy her stock. I bought it earlier stock, on. And, and then, then I realized I had realized two. And I was like, some. I don't want to. So I'm selling the, I'm trading the one stock I have for Allie off of Allie. Yeah, All just right. to be clear, Melissa also has a Kayla stock. So she definitely yes. has to make a call this week. Yeah, yeah so, so I have to make a decision and I'm just going to go for this one. She's essentially predicting that Allie will be the one to no, leave this week. No, don't say that because <laughs> everything I say never comes true. So you have to not say that. You just have to, we just have to let this go like i'm just casually trading my alley stock all right casually trading it then <laughs> <laughs> uh I, brent do you agree uh, yeah. is your game going down it, it is going down and it's not just the fact that uh obviously people are thinking about keeping uh kayla around it's also the fact that Allie has been spending all of her time with live like like there are people who you need their votes like actually like pretend that you kind of like them, girl. You know what I'm saying? I remember Paris and Maddie earlier today saying like, I haven't seen Allie in forever. Like, and they live in a house with this person, mind you, okay? But uh, she hasn't been doing a good job campaigning, I think. Uh, maybe she's been trying. It's It's gotta be tough as a nominee because you don't wanna campaign too hard. If you think you're safe, 
because then people like are like, well, why are you campaigning so hard? But on the other hand, you don't want to be the person that is sitting there with your thumb up your ass while you're being sent out the door. So I understand where she's coming from, but I would always err on the side of doing a little bit too much, much like everything else in my life, uh, rather than too little. I think more is better, Taryn. So uh, pretend you pretend you like them. Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, Ali is on the way down for sure. She uh, very, very well could be leaving this week. So uh, things not looking great for Ali. Let's move on to Derek, who we all agreed things were looking up for Derek, even though he almost went home this week and still has a decent chance of going home next week. Uh, maybe not the best call there on our parts. Um, although, you know, who would have predicted a Johnny that jo A, Johnny would stay and then B, Johnny would win the HOH. Right. Yeah. Uh, um, so just no idea. Clear, both of you own a Derek stock, one each. I do not. Yes. Correct. Uh, do so uh, in terms of Derek's game, I mean, obviously, I think that Derek's game has gone down since uh, since the last time we talked about this, because the last time we talked, we were assuming that Johnny was leaving yep. and Johnny yeah. has stayed. And that was a huge, huge uh, negative for his game. He has not recovered from it, even though that uh, he won the veto. And even though it looks like he may stay, both him and Kayla may stay this week, it's still a, uh, a very much uh, downhill from where he was last week when we talked about it. Uh, so I will be down on Derek. Brent, how do you feel about Derek this week? Uh, obviously, I'm down on Derek this week. Uh, I, I thought that I almost considered buying Derek stock last week along with you. You rebought some Derek stock last week, Taryn. And I was almost there with you. But uh, I, I'm i glad I didn't because I do think that there's a great chance that he's going to leave in the triple. Also, I was very disheartened to hear Johnny on the feeds earlier today talking about the fact that even though Derek has played a mighty game, he would not consider voting for him like i i think he might actually be the lowest i mean somebody can clarify that in the chat i thought i thought he said that he would never vote for derek because he's the prototypical mm -hmm. straight white you know protestant guy that you know they cast on every show and that we all just vote for or praise out of uh because that's the way it's always been done, you know? So I, I, he really is not a Derek fan at all. I don't know if it's him being butthurt over the fact that Derek won the veto, or if it's really that he just has some animosity with Derek, because I didn't see that really previously. They at least had a somewhat of a good re working relationship. I really hope he doesn't get to the final two and says, you know what? I'm not going to vote for Derek because he's a white guy, a straight white guy. I, I, I really hope that doesn't happen. But as, as a member of that persecuted demographic, I would. Oh boy. <laughs> oh well, you boy. heard, you heard this conversation to himself, right? Yes, I did. Well, the good news is, is that I, I'm looking at the uh, feed updates right now and it seems that they're, uh, Derek, Kayla and Johnny are joking about that. The whole exchange in the catacombs, uh, right now and saying like, that was really funny. And that was so wild. It'll be crazy to see like, blah, blah, blah. We're all friends. So like that's that's good. I was a little nervous that it was just going to be like very heated between everyone, but it's nice to see them be like, "Look, this is like that was like a confrontation, but we're still good." Like, well, not good, but we're still on good terms outside of the house and outside of the game. Yeah, he said he called Derek privileged. I'm sorry, I missed that word. Yeah, he called him privileged. So I don't know that Derek is privileged. I mean, he's he's a fame whore, but he's not privileged. <laughs> I don't know. It, it seems uh, like a like uh, if if you had to ask me, uh, who in the house is privileged? I feel like Kayla is more privileged, but uh, oh well, maybe. Um, Harris too. Oh, well. <laughs> She's a little princess. Well, uh, I well here's something. I think that Johnny will be influential in the jury, but I don't know if this argument would hold a lot of weight with the other jurors. Uh, what do you What do you think, Brent? Uh, oh, the uh, the straight white male thing. Um, mm. I don't know. I you know, it it may. I mean, he's he is influential. I don't know that it would hold any weight with Ryan, but you also don't want to look bad in front of Canada. And if you hear Johnny spouting this kind of an argument, like, you know, hey, we need to really support the women or something like that, then I can see them going along with it. I, I feel like they might be pressured a little bit, but I, yeah, well, I, I'm I very mean, torn about it. And big and uh, Big Brother celebrity, they did the whole she's a mother, she's yeah. a woman, you know, da, da, da. And that's True. why Marissa, uh, they voted for Marissa, or at least those are re reasons they cited to. So I think it's totally possible that that could happen. And I, I but I do hope that that's not the case. Um, because, you know, I think they should just give it to whoever played the best game, not because of who they are as a person. 
uh, it's just it's very funny watching or uh, like reading the updates uh for the feeds right now like uh johnny had that big blow up i think he's already recognized it was a mistake he quickly ran to ali and live told them he they need to get into a fake fight and now he's very like he's he's like chatting D uh, dela up and joking around with them i have to assume in order for everyone to see oh look yeah, like buddy, they're buddy friends. Now. Yeah, because that's what, like he needs. He needs to convince people that he's close. That like there's a possibility that uh, that he's closer with uh, with Dela than he is with Ali and Liv. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work. But uh, it's uh, it's in my. Some of these yeah. people are stupid. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, that's the sort of thing that does. Like you see Johnny like laughing and joking with them immediately after a blow up. It makes you question. Like, can I was hold my fake? assumptions was, exactly? Was it real? Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy. Uh, so it'll be interesting stuff. Uh, Melissa, how do you feel about Derek this week? Uh, he's down this week. Uh, I mean, not because I think he's playing poorly this week, but just because this was not the position he was in before. We didn't think Johnny was going to be still in the game. And Derek was HOH at the time, and it all looked great for him. So now it doesn't look so great. Um, so definitely down this week for me. And I do think that Derek is targeted over Kayla moving forward. I mean, he has shown yeah. himself to be a mighty player. And mm -hmm. I do think that people would want to get Derek out at all costs now. Definitely. All right, let's move on to Johnny. We were all saying he was down last week. He's had He had one foot out the door. I think in that time he's gone way up to uh higher than anyone yeah. um and back down but not nearly the level that he was last week at least for me so uh for me johnny has definitely gone up from when we last talked melissa you agree yeah yeah no i totally agree i mean he's down from where he was just a couple days ago but at the same time he's up because it's possible that he could survive the triple and we thought he was going out last week so he's uh he might even be here for the final five so uh he, he's up for me yeah uh, he's definitely up for me in fact as i said on the feed show earlier today do not sell johnny stock uh i think because even though he is most likely to be nominated in the triple most likely to be targeted out of anybody else I have full faith in his ability to win the veto. And if he wins the veto, he's into the final five with an HOH competition and a veto in front of him to get to the end. It's the Kevin Martin story timeline. I, I just see it happening in front of my eyes. So it's so amazing to me that one competition on one night for Johnny is going to tell his tale. If he can win a veto, I think he probably wins the game. If he can't win the veto, he's gone. That's it. Let me uh, let me try and be bold here for a second and make a prediction. I think that if if Derek and Kayla survive the triple and Johnny wins the veto and also survive, I, I think if Dela survives the triple with Johnny, if Dela and Johnny are are both in the final five, then I think uh, uh, I think that either it's hard because it's hard to know who would win in a jury vote. But I, I I'm going to be bold. I'm going to say either Johnny or Derek wins the season. Wow. If they both make it, because I think that uh, if one of them goes, the other is just going to win <clears throat> the remainder of the competitions. And I think that they both have a pretty good shot at winning a jury vote. I, mm. I think. Wow. After the, such a great season with all these strong female characters, that would be a bit disheartening to me. But then again, That'd I start to sound disappointment. I, I start to sound like like Johnny, though, where I'm like, well, I don't want to vote for them just because they're a guy. But I mean. You know, I'm just kind of looking. I'm looking for the overall. I'm a fan. I'm looking for the overall story here. If I was on the jury, I might do something differently. But as a fan, I really would like to see one of the girls win this season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would. I would prefer to see Kayla uh, win over Derek for sure. Uh, I'm. I well, we know. Uh, we know Johnny would vote for Kayla over Derek. Um, we know Ryan would vote for Derek over Kayla. Um, I think Will would vote Derek. I think. Uh, who knows what Paris and Maddie would do. Uh, what would Allie and Liv do as well? Uh, they would be the decision makers. I think they're more, they might be more likely to go Kayla. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but who knows? I think that, uh, I'd love to see Kayla win. I, think I would she's... love to see Kayla win. Yeah. It is I, like, I, I, if I wanted to be less bold, I would have said either Dela or Johnny will win if they both survive the triple. Um, uh, or I, sorry, either Dela or Johnny will win if they both survive the triple, but I went for, uh, for Derek just cause oh, I feel yeah. like he's better at competitions. Yeah. Uh, Taryn wants credit for being bold y'all. I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just trying to like because because I, I look I I tried to predict earlier this week that I I I think I you know it could go either way but I think that uh, that Paris is gonna decide to not keep Kayla and people are like oh you thought Ali was staying a hundred percent I'm like what are you that's not even close to what I said see they're doing what I do with you where you say one little thing and then they make it an absolute like you're like yeah. well one of the possibilities is blank and then like uh, you know 24 hours later on a podcast I'm there going Terrence said absolutely <laughs> this is going to happen I can't believe you said that yeah that's a good yep yep uh, all right so let's move on uh, to uh, or sorry did we finish with Johnny we all agree yeah. Johnny was up um, mm-hmm. yeah all right we- um uh, so let's talk about Kayla. We all agreed Kayla's game was up last week um, because, again, Johnny was on his way out. Uh, but Johnny is still here, and Kayla could still theoretically go home this week. And yeah. even if she doesn't, she's still in uh, one of the top three positions for uh, being in danger in the triple. I have to say that her chances are down. Um, but again, I feel like Johnny, Derek, Kayla, uh, if they survive the triple are in by far the best position to win the game. So it's kind of a tough call there, but I think ultimately, uh, her game would have been way better off if Johnny had gone home last week. And so for that reason, I'm going to say down, Melissa, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to say down as well. Um, not because I think Kayla's playing poorly right now, but because she's possibly out the door. And so She's definitely down because last week there was no way she was leaving. And, you know, Derek was HOH and Johnny was out the door and she really looked like she was in a good in a good place. So uh, definitely, unfortunately, down this week. Brent, how do you feel about Kayla? I feel great about Kayla, even though she's on the block and potentially could go home. I really, really feel like there's maybe a little bit of magic happening with her. Obviously, I'm going to have to rate her down overall. Uh, I feel like she's in a worse position now than she was last week. Obviously, keeping Johnny in the game was a terrible decision, even if she was convinced of it, that it was even maybe her idea at one point. She was like trying to sell that story that it was her idea to keep Johnny all along. Girl, whatever. Uh, But uh, yeah, you have have to rate her down, but I do feel good about her moving forward. I, I, I feel like her story's not done, Darren. All right. Um, I got to say, I want to take another risk here. I'm going to buy some Kayla stock. I All right. That, uh, See, I kind of wanted to do that too. I kind of wanted to like rate her down and then buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of your thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was like, well, I did that last week, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I, I'm going to take some Kayla stock here and uh, hope that she doesn't leave in either the eviction <laughs> Thursday night or the triple that will happen afterward. Uh, all right. Let's move on to Olivia. Uh, Brent and I both were down on Olivia last week because uh, it was not looking great. Uh, but again, the whole situation changed. Melissa, you. You are up on Olivia. How do you feel about Olivia now? Uh, I'm up on her again because I feel like she has a good chance of surviving the triple for sure. She's not going home. Uh, it's it's Ali and or Kayla going home in the first eviction. And also, I feel like she's created a good bond with Johnny. Um, while Ali might be going home, that could actually end up being better for Liv in the end uh, because uh, then she'll be seen as a single uh, especially if Johnny ends up going home and no one will really care about her. So I think that she's in a good place right now. Um, and I think that, yeah, I have to, I have to rate her up and I'm also going to buy a live stock. All right. Uh, of course, right as I buy some Kayla stock, uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing on the chat, somebody saying that Maddie seems to buy what Ali is selling right now. So, Right, Maddie is. Uh, Will Will says Will's talking to Allie, and he's like, "Can you?" This is from Stacked. Uh, Will says, "Can you promise us one thing?" He's talking to Allie that if you win, you wouldn't put the three of us up together. Allie, I can promise that one thousand percent. That's Whoa. the way to answer a question. <laughs> yeah, but the problem though is, is that they were like, they were. Th- that's already a given. Is that right. she wasn't going to put all three of them up together, and neither was Kayla. It was. Are they going to put two of them up, or are they going to put one of them up? Right. And Allie's for sure going to put, I mean, well, I don't know. I, I it, She's well, not giving, she's not giving anything different than what Kayla's giving. But yeah. but that's actually like, that's actually the thing. Like Allie was actually the only person in the house that was not going to uh, target any of them. She would be targeting uh, Johnny, Derek. Derek and Johnny. Yeah. Um, Liv wouldn't do that. 
Kayla and Derek obviously would target do, target Johnny and then probably one of the trio. Uh, so Allie's actually their best bet. It's just that she's not likely to win, which isn't the worst either, which is why I really feel like it it is the better move to probably keep Allie here. Um, but now I'm hoping they don't realize it because that would uh, that would mean I just made a bad decision. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on to uh, who's next here. Oh, no, we, we're still talking about Livia. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to rate her up and I'm, gosh, I have, I have two live stocks right now, but, but Melissa, you just bought live. You said, yep. Yep. So, we all have two now. Oh crap. Um, yeah, I'll buy some live stock as well. So that'll put me at three. Um, I think that, uh, she's look, they, they, my, my only concern about live is this. I do think ultimately Ali is probably evicted this week, regardless of what's happening right now. I just think that Kayla is the better player. Kayla will stay this week. Ali will go. Olivia is by herself. Obviously no one's coming after her in a final five if she's by herself. But if she's there with a couple of pairs, like, you know, two of the trio and, you know, maybe Kayla and Derek or some, some sort of weird tree or a, a pair or pair in a final five situation, if like a pair's on the block and then she somehow ends up as the pawn, there is there are scenarios where she could go home. Uh, I'm just nervous about that potential situation, but I am going to go ahead and buy some live stock just strategically to stay ahead of you guys because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I can't let Brett and pull ahead on live here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, blah, I mean, I was going to wait until I got to Paris, but uh, I'll talk about it. I think live also is up here. Um, I think that uh, her game improved uh, a little bit um, based on what's been happening. And I think she is one of the more likely people to survive the triple event. So I'm going to pull from my uh, my Paris stock and uh, and bring it over to Olivia and uh, and bring that up to uh, to three. So I'm going to be selling Paris stock um, and bring it up to Olivia. Uh, so let's move on to Maddie, who uh, we were all down on last week. And uh, man, how do we feel about her now? I feel like um, I feel like Maddie's position has somewhat improved i still think that she has a hard uh, uh she's in a tough spot in terms of winning the game nobody respects her game but i think she's very likely to be there i just feel like she's she's very likely to be sitting there in the final three potentially the final two and again i've been saying this all season long but i feel like just the fact that she is likely to be there uh it gives you a chance to win because who knows how the jury feels about the person you're sitting next to uh you know it, josh won big brother 19. um it like these things happen <laughs> like marissa won big brother celebrity um these things do happen so i have to, i have to again say that maddie's Bad position has uh, slightly increased by the just by the fact that she's survived another week, and it's looking like she might survive the triple as well, which means she's in the final five as one of the more likely goats. Uh, and you know, even at that point, she still has a chance to win some competitions and uh, and drive her own narrative. So I uh, I'm into it. I'm I'm up on uh, on Maddie. Yeah, I'm going to pull your play. Actually, I own currently four pair of stocks. So given that only like i think you own none taryn and melissa I own owns one them. one paris you uh, own one paris yeah. i thought yeah. you just traded it i, no, I you had, had two paris to. and i traded oh the, uh, uh one of them well i can still get rid of one and still be ahead on paris so i'm gonna i'm gonna trade my paris stock and I'll, uh, for reasons i'll explain and then um i'm going to buy finally some maddie stock and uh this is the first time any of us have ever bought Maddie. I didn't think she could win. I'm now thinking there's a possibility she could win. She has been doing better, in my opinion, in letting her guard down a little bit, having reasonable conversations with people where she doesn't sound like a robot. She doesn't sound like she's in a job interview. She sounds like a real live human being. And uh, I saw her earlier today. She also has a little bit of devil in her where she was lying to Johnny and she walked out of the room and she was like, oh, Johnny, I'm so sorry, but not really. Like, I mean, I, she was into the fact that she's in this game and has a real shot to win. And that's the girl that I liked when I saw her preseason. Like, that's the girl I thought I was going to get was the girl who was like, you know, ha, 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 ha. you know, I'm, I'm lying to people and I'm really living for it. But she kind of lost her way a little bit. And she has been, let's be real 
on a magic carpet ride this entire game. I don't know how many times, Taryn, we went into the week going, somebody's going to target Maddie or this person hates her, this person hates her, this person wants to nominate her. Need Look back at the first double eviction. Uh, Olivia was going to target her. Johnny talked her out of it. She didn't. And Maddie's like off in the bathroom somewhere doing her makeup, doesn't even know it's happening. So uh, I have to believe that maybe it's just fate at this point and Maddie's actually going to win the game. So I'm going to buy a Maddie stock. Yeah, um, I'm going to rate Maddie up this week as well because she has a very good chance of surviving the tri triple. I think she's not, she's probably in the least amount of danger for the triple along with Olivia. Uh, whereas before, she was in a lot of danger every single week. So uh, I could definitely see her sticking around. And um, so I'm also going to buy a Maddie stock. Interesting. All right. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. Uh, somebody uh, could, sorry, K. <laughs> Somebody what? Carvalho in the chat okay? says, <laughs> did not want to mess up your name. I'm sorry. Somebody uh, can, somebody can. <laughs> says, how on earth does she make it to the end with Will is the issue. Talking about Maddie. Uh, but I actually feel like if if they make it to the final three, Maddie, Paris, and Will, uh, which isn't completely off of uh, off of the charts, not uh, likely. Um, I think that uh, Will is likely to choose Maddie and Maddie is likely to choose Will because I think that especially with both of uh, of Dela staying in the game, they're likely to continue to drill and nail into people. You cannot take Paris to the final two. She is a threat to win this game. And I think that both Maddie and Will will understand that maybe it's a better um, option to take each other in that spot, which means that uh, that I think Maddie has a decent shot at beating Will. It's uh, it's certainly possible. Although I think Johnny will be pegging for Will uh, or stomping for Will pretty hard. Um, so maybe not, but who knows? Let's move on to Paris. We've both, uh, <laughs> just call me Kat, she says. Good to know. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's so, what I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's talk about Paris. We were all down on Paris last week. Um, it's interesting to think about, I'm trying to remember what I was thinking of Paris's odds last week and where are they now? I, I'm tempted to say she's gone up, but I also think that this move to save Kayla is not the greatest thing in the world. And it's, uh, and I think she's less likely to make the finals, let alone win them. Uh, so I think I'm going to say down and, uh, I'm, I'm not confident about it though, Brent. Yeah, I'm not confident about it either. I would also rate her down um, only because I do think she's ultimately going to make a mistake this week by keeping Kayla in the game. She doesn't have all the information. She doesn't realize that Allie actually would go after Johnny and would actually go after Derek, that she's in a much better position, I think, if she keeps Allie in the game. But she doesn't realize it, and I, and I sort of understand, as I was talking with Melissa earlier, why she doesn't realize it, because it hasn't been true for most of the game, so why would it be true now? But it just happens to be true now, and she doesn't necessarily get that. So I'm going to rate her down, and that's why I traded one of her stocks away. Also strategically, just because I had so many of them, I felt like it was probably a good play. But um, I, I'm nervous about her in the triple, and I didn't think I was going to be. And that makes me that makes me heave a little bit. You know what I mean? Could lose three shares of stock in one yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, we, I mean, we could all. Uh, I think, um, Melissa, you now have two. And yeah, Melissa, you could end up losing four total. Uh, I could end up losing five total. Brent could end up losing uh, something like uh, all of them. Wow, Brent, you, them. You, you could lose all of your, your shares. <laughs> uh, or no, you couldn't. You can't. Oh, no, can't because lose. he doesn't have it on Kayla or right, Allie. Right, right. Uh, so not quite, but, not uh, quite. but close. We all I stand could, to lose a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, in regards to Paris, I have, I'm going to rate her up, but just because I feel like she's in a decent position going into the triple. Um, I think that, yeah, I feel like when I say that, it sounds like I'm an Olympic commentator or something like she's in a decent position moving into the triple. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think she is though, because I feel like she, uh, I, I mean, even when Derek and Kayla were talking about like, Oh, it'd be great to get her out. We should, it would be great to put her up. They're like, there's no way she's going to go. So I feel like the fact that even the people who would be most likely to put her up are saying, uh, that, you know, she's not going to go. So it's not worth it. Um, I think that that means she's in a good position going into it. By the way, I saw in the chat, Andrew said earlier, he said, sell Paris. And it looked to me like buy Cialis. <laughs> 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 like, I think it, it's, it's C-A-L-A-I-S. Like, is that a ship name that I don't realize? Like, is that Kayla and 
Paris, but that doesn't look like their name. I have together. no idea. I don't know. For the record, we are not sponsored by Cialis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least not yet. Who knows? Yeah, I was going to say, but we could be if there's any Cialis reps Sell out there. Sell Paris by Cialis. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we're, we're talking about how we could end up losing a ton of, uh, of stock. The first question I have is from Tom Palmer, who says, do you guys have a good name for the BB Can 6 stock market crash the triple eviction will bring? Like oh, Terrible boy. Thursday or something. <laughs> uh, it's certainly possible. That's pretty good. Apparently, no. uh, that's a, a city in France, and I was not aware. So he's making a joke: Paris, Paris, get it? <laughs> so he's like, sell this city in France and buy this city in France. Yeah, it was a long way to get there. Try again, honey. <laughs> Let me handle the comedy. <laughs> yes. Uh, feel free to uh, make any side bets you want uh, for the stock watch on how many shares of stock will be lost in total uh, uh, throughout the three of us in the triple eviction. Um, that might be a fun thing to uh, to bet on. Um, so uh, let's move on to the final person here, Will, um, who we were, uh, Brent and I, uh, man, Brent, you and I were both in lockstep last week i think we agreed on yeah we agreed on every single one and melissa was the one that disagreed uh, uh on occasion uh brent you and i were both down on will and melissa you were up on him melissa how do you feel about will this week mm, that's really tough i think that i you know i i kind of have to say that he's down but just because i feel like he's in a position that he could easily be taken out in the triple um, I yeah. feel like if he gets on the block, it's an easy out. People just take him out. He's not really as ingrained in a lot of the strategy as everyone else is. And I feel like it could be super simple for people to just be like, okay, we'll take out like Johnny or we'll take out Kayla or, or Derek. And then, oh, and we'll also take out Will because he's up there and we will just like keep Olivia. Or we'll keep Paris. So um, yeah, I, I could see this not being a great week for Will. So I'm going to have to say down. Yeah, down for me as well. I think that he is just everybody's third or fourth option to go during the triple eviction. And I have no uh, ability or no faith in his ability to win a veto competition. So he could easily go. Plus the fact that he, and I don't know why people feel like this, but like he has a kid. And so maybe that's threatening to people like, you know, I can't have a kid, so you wouldn't vote for me. So whatever, I, whatever, I'll, I'll let it go. But I, I don't understand why pe that's such a big thing with people. Like they, they worry about stuff like that. But uh, I would rate him down. Yeah, I feel like his uh, not only his chances of uh, like just his position in the game has just continued to worsen, but uh, I think if, I feel like his odds of winning a jury vote are just going down yes, that's as it we too. speak. And uh, it will just like um, again, I remember back in the early uh, early days of the season, we were like, "What is this move by Will here to target Jesse? Um, this is such such a weird move to make." And uh, turns out that was like uh, really the best that Will had to offer in terms of. <laughs> strategy uh he's not done much better since then it's uh it's only gone downhill so speaking uh, of will can we talk about his shenanigans that's been going on in the feeds with the have not room and what he's been talking with johnny and the girls about yes i first want to uh thank alexandra again um alexandra w on twitter on tw twitter, twitter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> i was saying like letters which make <laughs> me i guess pronounce the t extra um uh but twitter. thank you again alexandra for the uh the chart that i had displayed as we talked about the stock watch uh she does some wonderful work for us thank uh, you chart. um but now yes go ahead brent well i i am still not exactly sure because i've seen this i've only i, I only again i only saw most of this on rewind because you know a girl has to sleep sometimes uh but uh from what i've been able to piece together will was told in the diary room or it was slipped to him probably accidentally but whatever um that uh there is a potential power in the have not room to somehow save him or his friends or Johnny. I don't know how it was phrased to him. Taryn, maybe you can enlighten the people a little bit more, but I know that he told Johnny about it, but then Johnny didn't think he, Johnny didn't believe him because he thought, well, if he's talking to me about it, then it's probably like the power goes away. Usually if you spill the beans about it. And then he told the girls about it or hinted about it. And based on what I saw from Maddie, it seemed like she knew what he was talking about. Um, I, what, what, what do you make of all of this? Because I have, I have thoughts. 
I I really don't know what to make of this because normally if something like this happened, the feeds would be cutting left and right, right? Like uh, that's their normal, uh, you know, op- mode of operation where it's just like, uh, oh, they're talking about something that the viewers aren't supposed to know yet. Cut, 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 cut. Uh, they still cut the feeds anytime uh, Paris and Jesse are mentioned together in a sentence. So uh, I don't know why they wouldn't be cutting the feeds here if it was real. And if it's fake, I don't know why they're not saying stop using production as a strategy. So I'm 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 uh, I'm baffled myself. Uh, I'm baffled as well, and I know there are people out there who are saying that he got it from Marsha, that maybe he got information from Marsha, the moose, obviously, um, about potentially a have not power in the have not room. But I'm like, how would he get that power? They just randomly chose him, and like Marsha gives out tasks. Marsha doesn't give out game advantages. I will just tell you guys that I am positive that someone's going to come back from jury. I am positive that that's what that tomb is. So if Johnny is evicted during the triple, I think he's going to have a chance to come back. I think it's going to be Ryan, the uh, three people evicted tonight, and maybe even the person evicted next week, because what Will was saying that whatever it is will happen next week. So potentially maybe those four or five people will have a chance to come back into the game. This is my speculation, nothing else, but... Arissa said at the beginning of the season that a ghost lurks in the tomb. That seems to me like very outcast Pearl Island survivor season seven. So I'm thinking somebody's going to come back from the jury, but maybe I could be wrong. I, I'd love to be wrong. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Any theories, Melissa? No, I just hope it's nothing. I hope Will's just bluffing. That's yeah. I'm say. hoping he is too, but again, I don't understand why Taryn, like you said, uh, I mean, that's clearly using production as a strategy. And I know that like people were saying, well, do they do that in Canada? Do they call them out on that? I've, I like, I know that they've said it's stuff happened or, before. Like, yeah. Yeah. On, on uh, Canadian feeds. So they can't just, you can't pretend like, you know, something other than what everyone else currently has access to within the game. And that's what Will's doing right now. So it's infuriating to me that if he's telling the truth, then he, if he's telling the truth, then all of his information should be told to the other house guests if they somehow gave it to him by a mistake. Everybody should be on an evil, equal playing field. This is a game show, after all, with real money at stake. On the other hand, if he's lying and just trying to make something up, which doesn't sound very Will, not for nothing. Will just doesn't have that kind of gear in him, I don't think, to just make stuff up willy-nilly, like out of whole cloth. I just don't think he would do that. And thus, I'm left to believe that there is an element of truth to it. You know if it's saying? anything, I would want it to be a buyback over anything else. But I don't know if there's enough time for a buyback now in I this season. I don't know what they're going to do because, I mean, I, they could just do another double, you guys. I know people in the chat are like, there's no time. But they can go pretty fast during the, the final six and final five. So I, 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 think they, I think they could get it done. Yeah, and even if they don't do a double, they can just like speed up the weeks and, you know, yeah, do, they, do they go more Although I feel like three really fast. The, the whole point, though, of like a buyback is to have that person come back in and like, change up the game and like bring a new element into it and if they just like speed through everything and just like get people out right away it's like i feel like it defeats the purpose of having a buyback in the first place and there is precedent for this in during during the uh week uh season one of uh big brother canada they brought somebody back and you know they were in the final four um with uh, jillian and emmett and uh, Andrew and Tala. God, I can't believe I remember all their names. And Gary came back into the game and made a final four, a final five again, and they were none too happy about it. So I, it's definitely possible. Uh, Kathy does make a good point. Uh, she says uh, they wouldn't like seeing a returning juror since they saw the goodbye messages. I don't remember if they saw goodbye messages on season one, um, but uh, but we do know that Ryan mm. saw goodbye messages. So okay. uh, in the U.S., I would say that means they're not bringing somebody back. But who knows with Canada? Uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well. all right. Um, <clears throat> most of the questions I had uh, are already outdated based on the new uh, <laughs> stuff that happened on the feeds as we were talking. Um, but uh, let's see. I've got one. Uh, we've already kind of debated about this a little bit from GH on Twitter. If Ali is evicted, should La- should Liv attach herself to Johnny Moore or try to ride it out with Dela? Um I is there a none of the above option is my answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, like neither of those are good options. And I think that's a situation where you'd have to wait and see after the triple. Like, cause it, the, okay. Whoever gets out first, like there's still an eviction right afterwards where like everything's going to change. So don't like fully attach yourself to someone just right away. You need to like wait and see who's still there. 
Yeah, it's it's a tough spot. I mean, uh, obviously, the more that she can use Johnny to get further in the game, the better. I don't think she can trust Dela, and I don't think that using Dela will be effective for her. Using Johnny is slightly effective for her, but the second she gets the opportunity, she needs to take the shot and cut him. Um, if she even gets an opportunity. Um, but uh, definitely do not ride down to the end with either, uh, with any of those people, um, because that is not uh, good for your game. Take the shot as soon as you can. That's what I would say. Um, we have a question from JB on Twitter who asks, what are the chances we lose the three pillars of strategy in the triple eviction? Uh, it's certainly, we talked uh, would be a, a large part of the season, early season about how Kayla, Paris, and Johnny were the three pillars in the house. Uh, they have lasted all this time in the house together. Oh, um, I want all three of them to make it through the triple somehow. It would be pretty great. It would be pretty great. Um, so, uh, so, so, what what are the odds that all three of them stay and what are the odds that all three of them leave because uh both of those things are possible with Kayla up on the block I think the odds that all three of them leave is slim I think that the odds that all three of them leave are better than slim <laughs> Hello <laughs> somebody disagrees I know right <laughs> uh I I do think that there's a chance that Kayla could go home based on things that are happening in the house although I said earlier I think she's the better player and that she'll stay and I do think that that's true but if she does go home that's obviously part one of the question and number two Johnny and Paris or sorry, uh, Johnny and uh yeah Johnny and Paris going home um I I think that that's possible. I think that Johnny is definitely obviously a target and Paris oh, is uh, not making friends. That would be terrible. That would be a nightmare scenario. I know. Um, devastating. I'd be so sad. You have to get on the Maddie train then. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, we all hop right on the Maddie train afterwards. We're like <laughs> gung ho. Maddie. Yeah, we were with you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we were rooting for you the whole time. We knew you could do I it. Am, but just to be clear, I am rooting for her, but she makes it impossible sometimes. So if you're a Maddie fan or if you're running her Twitter account, like I love Maddie, but like I again, I feel like I was sold a bill of goods with Maddie. <laughs> like the person that she was coming into the house is not the person that I got. And I'm slowly seeing shadows of that, you know, work its way out of her now that she's finding her feet within the game and has gotten a little luck to go her way. So you know, I'm ready for her. I just want I Maddie to, to do more. Yeah, yeah I want her to do more. I want more. Her to yes. do more. I want her to win an HOH. Me. I need an HOH, a triple eviction HOH for Maddie. Wow, that'd be wild. Yes. Uh, so Cheryl on Twitter wants to know if Johnny survives, and I hope he does, the triple eviction, does he have to win out to make it to final two? I don't see any house guest other than uh, Liv wanting him uh, to take him further. Uh, so does will Johnny have to win out if he survives the triple? My answer would be it depends on who else survives the triple. Right. Uh, yeah. You agree, Brent? Yeah, I think that there is a slim possibility that he could actually survive a vote if both Derek and Kayla are still in the house. I don't think anybody would want to move them forward in the game. I think Johnny would say, look, I know it sucks keeping me in the game, but there's obviously a bigger target over here. You have to split them up right now. They are both comp beasts and very much jury threats. You know, you have to split them up and they would and they would take each other to the final two. The one thing I wish Kayla would have done this week more, I wish she would have thrown Derek under the bus more. I really wish she would have said, you know what, I'm with him for now. Obviously, you know, we're voting together, but I'm totally willing to cut him, Paris. Like, I, I'm not going to take him to the final two because I know I can't beat him. You know, any whatever she needs yeah. to say, I she like hasn't Paris done would... a good job. Mm -hmm. She sort of just treated it like a given, like, well, you know, we're together. But you could really be sowing seeds there for people to and believe that you're willing to cut him. Go ahead. All she has to do is that she would do it or that she wouldn't do it. All she right. has to do is tell Derek that she wouldn't cut him, but she's going to tell people that she is so that it looks like they're further apart than they are. Yes. Then she, that's that way Derek, if Derek finds out he doesn't get upset, then she goes to Paris and says, like, just as you said, I can't beat him. I'm going to have to cut him. I need somebody else to be my person to take to the end. And I want that person to be you. Boom. Because I feel like Paris this whole time has been looking for someone to be like her main ally. And I feel like while she has Maddie and Will, she recognizes that those guys are not strong allies for her because they're all throwing each other under the bus the whole game. So I feel like she she would gravitate uh, well towards Kayla if Kayla pulled that with her. Yeah, I agree. I will say I think that um, if if Olivia wins the triple eviction HOH and Johnny is able to steer her in the direction he needs her to go, assuming Kayla stays, um, and then if Johnny takes out either Kayla or Derek, preferably I think K 
Kayla, maybe Derek, depending uh, which one is more threatening. If he takes out one of Dela and Paris in the triple eviction, I think he's got the game on lock. I think that uh, without Paris in the house and without uh, both of Dela in there to beat him in competitions, I think that uh, he'll have Liv's loyalty, he'll have Will, um, and then he'll still have Will and Maddie as a, a pair that needs to be targeted. He'll still have the remaining person of Dela that needs to be targeted. Um, and I think that uh, I think that he won't even need to come close to winning out in that situation. Does he know that though? I don't know if he knows that Paris is such a thorn in his side as she evidently is. I mean, like, he, he talks about be... it every time he has a conversation. Uh, I know, with her. but he also has like downplayed her abilities in like, well, she's a little bit all over the place and she's throwing out deals left and right. And so, you know, you like, who knows what she's really doing? I, I think he sometimes doesn't take her seriously. And I feel like that would be a bad call on his part. That's what I'm getting at. It would, it, it is interesting. I'm very, very curious to know who Johnny's targets would be if 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 he resigns himself to the fact that he uh, that that Kayla will be staying then who is Johnny who would Johnny want to be targeted in the triple eviction will would he want both of De La Gone in the triple eviction or would he do one and one and if I if he did one and one I do think he would take out Paris I think he know he's he's mentioned that Paris is the one of the trio that he would prefer to see go first um and because he prefers will and and live obviously so um I think I think what Johnny would do is take out one from Dela and Paris. He might decide to take out both from Dela, but I think he would recognize that that puts him in a spot where it's him and Liv versus the the trio. And I think he would decide against that, but I'm very curious to know uh, what he would do in that, in that spot. Um, and hopefully we'll find out, I guess. Um, so, that's uh, that's that's where I see Johnny right now. I think that, uh, but on on the other side of things, if Paris is still in the house, if Kayla, if both of Dela are still in the house, then yes, I do think that Johnny will be in a position where he probably needs to win out. But I do think his odds of winning out are also pretty decent. So um, again, if Johnny survives the triple, I think he's in a pretty decent spot to win the game. Yep. Um, whether it's by winning out or by just uh, being able to manipulate the rest of the house. Um, it's very, very possible. There's a lot of campaigning with Ali and Liv uh, and the trio right now. So I have, a lot of the stuff we talked about could become irrelevant. Yeah, I feel like that's the way it was last week, too, where we were like, oh, Johnny's out the door. Like, I don't know if we see a way for him to stay. And then all of a sudden he stayed and it was like everything we had said was like, oh, nothing. It's such a great time capsule, though. Like, I like looked, I looked, I listened to my podcast with Rob from the previous week where, you know, I was just really poo pooing Johnny's chances. And then, you know, fast forward to Thursday and it's a six to zero vote to keep him. So, you know. It's That's fun. how it is in Big Brother. It's fun. Not like uh, last season on Big Brother 19, people, yeah. where you, you get oh, an HOH yeah. and you could already write the script from like and have seven days of nothing. Come yeah. on. Yeah. You could literally like <laughs> not even watch the feeds. And how you did know you get exactly through that? Going on. Oh, I have no idea. Karen, I really you earned next- your money that season. <laughs> oh, man. I hope next season isn't like that. I hope it's uh, way oh, more yes. like this. And big news Allison Grodner has said. Uh, on Twitter to the Big Brother Network, they tweeted out a story that next this coming season, Big Brother 20, is not going to be an all-star season, not going to have any returning players. It's going to be all new players. And thus, and they also are redesigning the house, apparently. Like, they're very excited for whatever house they're going to show us. There may even be a few twists along the way. Hopefully no trees or apples or anything. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited for an all newbie season of big brother mother f and us melissa this would have been the perfect season though to have an all-stars evil dick says it's not gonna happen he says it's just it's just not gonna happen and i, I don't know can't why, explain it, why they won't do it it honestly they have so many good players and they're this would be amazing and it's just uh it's, they really do have a ton of players taryn why would they messed up I, I think that if, if from their point of view, they don't have a lot of eligible players because okay. a lot okay. of their eligible players are people that they already brought back and they turned into people that people didn't like anymore. Um, so like uh, like Frank, his popularity took a hit. Paul, obviously. Uh, Nicole. So many of these quote-unquote fan favorite fan favorites that they would have loved to bring to an all-star season uh, even james like uh just like their popularity just tanked when they brought them back so uh, oh, bring other people 
Yeah. yeah. That's what I, I don't understand. I it's like those people wouldn't have even been good on an All-Stars. Bring back other people. Like there's so many other people that they could bring back. I it's just they have, they have 20 seasons to pull from. They could yeah. literally do anything. Oh, wait. Uh, we can, whatever. I, I thought I, that, I that Big Brother 17 would have been the perfect season to do All-Stars because it was Big Brother 7 was the first All-Stars, then Big Brother 17, 10 years later, or 10 seasons later. And then uh, that didn't happen. And then I was like, okay, well, they're definitely saving it for 20 well, because that's the only thing that makes sense. And, and now they're look, so. They're so disingenuous too, Melissa, because they're like, well, you know, the fans obviously were, there were a lot of people saying, you know, that they didn't want us to bring back returning player last season with Paul. So we're going to listen to the fans and we're going to give them an all new BC. No, you're twisting our words. Yeah, okay? That's not what we wanted. That's we just not didn't what want we said. one returning player. Yeah, exactly. I think I think they should have uh, avoided the uh, I know Brent liked it, but the train wreck of season 13. Don't bring back players on that season. Make 14 an all star season. That's the the increments of seven. They could have made that happen with Dan and with those uh, with uh, Dick and Danielle and right. and, and Brenchel and yeah. uh, Jeff and Jordan and uh, and Janelle and Boogie. All of those people could have been great um, and they could have absolutely made an all star season at 14. But they got greedy and they tried to bring back increments of returning players and it just doesn't work um and uh that's why i think they messed up so it's so amazing to me though because 13 and 14 in my eyes did work i know 13 isn't everybody's cup of tea but i enjoyed it but i mean i'm willing to look objectively and understand that maybe some people didn't like it it certainly brought the drama and i if nothing else 14 definitely worked for me mm -hmm. so after that though it seemed like the formula somehow got corrupted you know? Well, I think I think 14 worked despite itself just because of the caliber of player. Like when you have Dan and Brittany and Janelle and Boogie, like it's hard for a season with those players to not work. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and when you have Brenchel and Jeff and Jordan and Dick and Danielle, it's hard to have a season without a ton of drama. Um, but uh, but, you know, now they're bringing back these players who I think that are like their popularity was more a quality of the edit that they received than yes. than their personality itself. Yes. And I think that uh, that's why it's not working as well, even uh, even a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it's just the way things go, unfortunately. Do we have a hashtag for this episode? Let me know in the chat if we do. Um, I will, of course, be live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern uh, with a, another live feed update. I will be doing it live from Podcast House. Um, I've been, I have been. I did another Twitch stream today. I played some more God of War, hung out with some people. Um, yes, follow Taryn's Twitch stream. It is what? Armstrong Taryn or Taryn Armstrong? Taryn, Taryn Armstrong. Taryn Armstrong. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's been fun. People, uh, people hang out. They ask me questions about Big Brother, TV shows, Game of Thrones. We talked about a lot of stuff. So um, it's, uh, I've, I've Are really you been enjoying it. Are you a Marvel fan? Are you going to go see the new Marvel movie? I am. I've been catching up on all the Marvel movies. And, Aha! Uh, yes, yeah. I'm, I'm actually really jonesing for this one. I'm really excited. I, I yeah, I'm going uh, opening. I, I'm ready. Opening weekend. Melissa, are you it. going? Uh, no. You don't know what we're talking <laughs> about. Never mind. <laughs> A Marvel movie or something? A Marvel movie? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've, I've got I've got movie pass. I'm seeing like all the movies now. So if you want to oh. quiz me on my movie knowledge, check out my Twitch stream, ask me questions, whatever you want right. to do. Well, uh, um, on Thursday night, I'm going to be at my sister's house, but I will be on the show on Thursday night with Taryn. We may have a guest with us, but Taryn will be at podcast house. I'll be at my sister's. So it'll be like, you know, Brent and Taryn on the road. I like it. Yes, uh, our 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 hashtag is not going to involve any brand names. Uh, just so everyone knows. Uh, now, what was the name of that city? Because it looked like Cialis, but it wasn't. It was like Kalis or something. So sponsored by Cialis. <laughs> uh, we may have to go with House Meeting Podcast if we can't find another yeah, one. Yeah, you guys got to remember this is rap. This is not. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to throw shade. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> um, well, make sure you check out the Terran show. Uh, I spoke with Bre uh, Ben Driebergen, uh, the reigning Survivor uh, winner, um, about uh, about his life. His uh, He got married in a truck. He spent some time in Iraq as a Marine. <laughs> uh, he's, he's ridden some bulls. He's uh, raced some race cars. Uh, he's lived an interesting life, this Ben. Uh, so we had some fun chatting on the Terran show. Very cool. Uh, yes. And um, still, they're still trying to push uh, 
<laughs> okay, okay. Sponsored by uh, K K K Calais. Calais. I guess it's Calais. C A L A I S. I am sorry, uh, audio listeners. This is going to be a tough one. Oh yeah. boy! It's a city in Paris. Or it's a city in Paris. A city in <laughs> France. <laughs> All right, sponsored by Calais or whatever or however you pronounce it, Cal Calais, Calais. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter. I'm at Armstrong Taren. Brent is at One Lucky Gay. Melissa is at It's Melissa with three A's, three of them. And uh, thank you everyone for joining us. For Brent and Melissa, I am Taryn Armstrong. Hashtag sponsored by Calais. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>